Hello, my fellow hound dogs. Welcome to the doghouse. I am the doghouse gamer, and this is Sins of the Solar Empire Rebellion. Now, I switched up what I was going to post today. I was going to originally post Star Wars, but then I decided against it, and I'm like, yeah, let's do Sins of the Solar Empire, because I like this game a lot. And I was hoping you guys might like it too. So let's start off a campaign. As you can see, these are my save files. It's ridiculous. We can, uh, there is, uh, what is it? There is mods for this. There's a Star Wars mod for this. There is a, uh, there's a Star Trek mod for this. And, yeah. So, let's see. What map do I want to play on? Let's play on maybe a medium map. Either a small map or a medium map, because I don't want it to be super ridiculously long. Okay, so we're going to do a medium random map. And, yeah, so each empire has different looks, and each empire has different ships. There's, like, rebels for each empire. So, like, say I go, you can do tech loyalist or tech rebel, or you can do uh, advent loyalist or advent rebel. Rebel, and each one of them gets a different Titan. Like, there's a Titan ship that you can get. They get this Titan. The Rebels get this Titan. Uh, yeah. And you can win this game through diplomatic or what is it? Diplomatic or what is it? Or what is it? Or military means and by uh like there's what is it, religion, or communications, or corruption in this game, so you can, like, corrupt enemy systems, and stuff like that, and each one of them gets, like, a super weapon, like, a proto prototype, like, uh, Kostra, Kostra, which is their cannon, and what that does is it basically, uh, fires, like, I think it's, like, a missile or something, or a laser at a planet, and stuff like that, and makes it destroyed, so I want to make it a 1v1v1, and let's set the victory options. Now we can do occupation victory. You can occupy a mysterious planet. We're going to turn that off. Or we're going to keep that off. We need research victory. I'm going to keep that off. We need allied victory, but there's no allies in this one. I want to do a diplomatic victory. Um, we knew a flagship victory. There's a mysterious flagship. Or if your flagship dies, then um, you lose. Um, let's do a capital victory too. So what diplomatic what diplomacy does in this game is you can basically go and ally with different factions and stuff like that that are enemies with you at this moment but i've never tried it before so we're going to try that and see how well it does and through military victory or capital victory uh you take over their capital and that empire's done so that means that their capital world's taken over they can't build anything else they can't do anything else they're basically just derelict ships or their ships it's still in their sectors but they can't move or stuff like that it's fun uh in the star trek mod for this i remember i was the borg and i went and i conquered the federation homeworld and there was just this huge debris field that uh covered almost the entire screen because they had sent every one of their ships there to fight it was pretty cool that's why i like some of the mods for this game because the mods for this game are awesome, and you can go in and you can play different factions across your different, uh, you can play different factions across your different, uh, universes like Star Wars and, uh, Star Trek. So this is your frigate, uh, frigate, uh, factory, and what you can build here is you can build your cruisers and you can build your frigates. Now, you can't build capital ships here. This is where you build capital ships, which kind of makes things challenging because there's, like, a limited number of slots that you can build these on. So, like, I get two at my home planet and I get one capital ship uh one capital ship factory and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you on okay so what you need to do is you need to go here and these are your certain things you can build you can build weapons lab or you can build uh imperial imperial lab which means you can upgrade your civics or you can upgrade uh your certain weapons now there are only a certain number of slots of these see this that means i have to go to my upgrade center and upgrade the logistical capital or tactical capital because if you upgrade your tactical what you can do is you can build like military posts here so you can build like say missile platforms or, or hangar defense or jump inhibitors and stuff like that that way they can't escape or you can build that that takes up almost all of your stuff and so does that your titan foundry 
and you can build like warp gates and stuff like that, and you can build star bases in this game. All in all, it's a really good game. But first off, let me go and select my free capital ship. Now it's easy. It's best to get one that colonizes. That way you don't have to build those tiny little colonizer ships, because those colonizer ships are kind of terrible. Let's see. So that's the nav navigator. That's the scout. That's the colony ship I was talking about. It's terrible. Don't ever get it. If you can, just go get your capital ship and get a couple of these. And you have credits, and uh, you have credits, minerals or metal, and you have crystal. Now it's different depending on which mod you're playing through, and but that's basically the entire economy of this game. And so you have like pirates, but I think I turned them off. But yeah, I did. That shows that an enemy is defeated or something like that. But you can give them money to attack a certain thing, and once they're done attacking a certain thing, they'll go and they'll move on to the next highest. And you want to try and make yourself not the highest bid on there. So I'm gonna send you on explore. I'm send you on explore. What you can do is zoom out and you can see where you're starting at. So there's your star system right here. And on certain maps, you can have multiple stars that you can jump to. But on this one, I just wanted to make it a quick little playthrough. So, yeah. Well, and there's only certain planets that you can uh, colonize at the very beginning. And, like, here's your research tree. So you get your warfare. You got all your weapons and all your ship class upgrades. Like, here's the Devastator prototype. It allows you to build Devastators. And, and then so you can get your fortifications. Now, I would recommend going for remote assembly immediately because that builds up a, um, a star base. And a star base this is a massive, massive uh, base that you can set up on. You can only set up one on one planet. But I think there is an upgrade to where you can set up multiple but what happens is, is that they'll have to throw their entire fleet at that thing because it's really heavy fortification. So here I've got uh, Empire, which is what the Empire logistical thing goes for. You can build bunkers uh, just in case if you're, uh, at your homeworld or stuff gets attacked. And here's one where you can do ar Arctic Occupation, which allows your empire to increase to Arctic worlds, allow you to settle them, and allows you to settle volcanic worlds. So you can settle, you can settle these types of world, uh, Class M or something like that. You can settle these types of worlds too, the dwarf planet, but you can't settle, you can't settle... What is it? You can't settle like lava or volcanic planets right off the bat. You can only settle those ones. So I've got my fleet ready. So I'm going to go here. And you have to actually get the upgrade to do that or else that ship's completely useless. And you can buy your next uh, level to get a next upgrade. And when you're at your planet and you go out, the first surrounding planets to take are the easiest. But once you start going out farther, the planets start getting harder to take. So there'll be more and more ships. So you can see the space combat here. You can rotate your camera around. Here are my ships. And you can upgrade your ships too, which is cool. So you can do manipulation, which is like your, uh, which is the diplomacy tree, I think is what this one is. Interspecies relations, I'm going to get that. Yeah, I'm going to get that too. Yeah, and the, and the pirates give you bounties too, which increases your standing with them. And you have to upgrade your fleet logistics. And what that is, is you go, and you have a certain amount of ships that you can build right off the bat. You have, like, one capital ship you can build right off the bat, so this gives you another capital ship that you can build. And then you have a certain fleet cap. Now, your capital ship takes up space in your fleet cap. Well, you can't build another capital ship until you free up space in your fleet cap, so that's what that fleet cap thing is for. And you can get artifacts that will help you out, too, when you explore your planet. That just gives you incentive to explore. So, like, I just captured a new planet. So what you do is you take this planet, and what I recommend you doing 
is going to civil infrastructure at the very beginning and upgrading it to its max because that'll give you a lot of taxes from that planet because it'll upgrade the population. But then I recommend you go explore the planet because if you don't, then you might miss out on some uh, artifacts. See, like this doesn't have anything guarding it. It's just an asteroid. I might want to take that just in case. But like, see, my strategy would be to set up like a star base right here at Roderi and Chodas right here. So that way if they come through and they get through this one, they'll have to get through this one too to get to my home world. It's so like what I'll go and do now is I'm going to go to logistics and I'm going to go probably upgrade my uh, weapons lab. It's very slow starting out in this game, but it's great for end game because if you build your Titan, like your goal is to get to your Titan at this point. But if you build diploma diplomatic relations and you go and say you want to manage packs or you want to give them money, see need more research to do that but see they're at negative standing with you but this one's not at negative standing with me offer mission give them resources See, so I gave them stuff to attack the trade coalition, so they'll be on my side for right now. Yeah, there's some more bad guys over here. But, like, your mission is to go and scout very early on, so that way their empire can't really grow yet. So, right here, I just captured another one. Let's move on to... Let's move on to this one now. So... Let's see, so I'm going to move my fleet over here, because we don't know what's over here. So it might be a volcanic world, might not be. And you also get like a fighter and a bomber wing. So if you get fighters and bombers, basically what they'll do is they'll go and attack the ships. You don't really get to see them much, you'll just see these little dots on the maps that'll fly around with little lines behind them. I'm going to wait for that, there we go. But yeah, basically the idea of this game is to build up infrastructure and invade other planets. Let's see what type of world this one is. Okay, so there is a pirate base in this game, and it has a massive amount of ships and stuff. So I'm going to show you this real quick. So it has a massive amount of defenses. See, this is their defenses right here, these cannons, and then they have a massive amount of ships right here. So they go in, and they'll send these ships after you if you get a bounty or something like that. But this base is ridiculous to conquer. It's terrible. So never throw your ships willingly at this base. Always try to avoid it or find a way around it. But if there's like an empire hidden behind here that you have to go to to kill, then I would definitely ha I definitely would send in a little fleet to go in here and break up some of their defenses. Like have like defense busters, which are some things that you can build in this game. Or I like to call them defense busters, but they're not really called that. But and what they do is they go in there, they destroy the enemy defenses, and what you can do is send in a supporting fleet and go in there and destroy the ships. So that way you can go and cross this without having to worry about anything. But definitely if you go to attack this, you will lose some ships. Like, see, I have a way around it now. And you can prioritize which ships to attack. Like, that has 510 health, that has 765 health, so I would attack that one first. And this is an ice planet anyway, so I can't really... Uh, colonize it yet but what I'll do is when I get that research I'll do that and be able to conquer it so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get that see like now I can get fortification the regeneration bay is one of them that I want to get and so destructor goes in and it uses beam weapons and it's a heart it's like a destroyer and this is like your artillery basically see it's all long-range ships so you go in there and you uh, attack them but you also build uh, what is it? You only need to attack them, and you can attack from long range. But I wouldn't recommend building an entire fleet out of this, because if you do, you might lose uh, a lot of your fleet. Because most ships, some of the ships that you can get are really close range, so they have to get really close. But long range ships are okay, only in small doses.
So that way, like, say you have long-range ships, but then you have close-range ships that swoop in and, and shoot at them, you know? That way you have... If you just have long-range ships, you're not going to really do anything. You're just going to shoot at them and you're going to miss. So if you go and you build, like, short-range ships like right here, or you build long-range ships behind them, and you have, like, a fleet formation that's really good, then you'll actually be able to beat some things. See, here's the frigate that I was showing... I was showing off. My my frigate's a little different, but it's like this. It has long range cannons. But like once I get rid of the ships there, they're not gonna rebuild. So I can just go in and take that world. And build another civic center. That way I can go and get that planet. Where is it? There it is. So, like, you have certain techs that you can unlock if you have a certain amount of bases and if you expand certain amounts. Like, this is phase tunneling, so I can build a phase tunneler, and what I'll do is I can go and send my fleet through a phase tunnel all the way through to, it, like, either a different star or a different uh, sector of space. See what I'm talking about? They're really weak at close range. And this is what I was talking about with the fighters. Watch. So you, you zoom in on a fighter. Look. You can see the actual individual fighter, but it'll just be like a little red mark or something. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to, if I get that built, I'm going to queue up the research for, um, oh, and by the way, you can sell, you can buy and sell metal. So if you have an overstocked price of metal, or if you have an overstocked thing of metal, you can sell metal. You can buy up a uh, crystal. I'm getting those to research. So right now my goal is to basically go in and conquer this planet. I'll send my fleet back to in Inari Inari and uh, take over that. Sorry for the noise in the background. My laundry's going. But see, I've got, like, Destructor, it's a planetary beam assault, uh, basically assault beam weapons. So it goes in and it gets to an enemy planet, and you can bombard it until there's nothing left on the planet, and then you go and take that over. So I'm going to build three of those, a couple more of those. So now I need more metal, but I'm out of money, so I'll just wait a little bit for the, stu for the stuff to go back up. See, there's a uh, navigator right there. Let me go to Diplomacy. So now they like us a lot, because we give them, we give them money and stuff like that. So like I can give I can offer them packs. So I offered them a mission. Let's go to manipulation real quick and see. Sino so, you influence allows you to offer demand and demand gifts, credits there. I'm gonna get that, because that's a good one. And then you can get that craft and you can go to your uh, you can go to planets like that and increase relations with the people there. See like that's a navigator, so I don't want to attack that at this moment. But if it goes over here, I have no choice because it'll go and it'll be attacked by my uh, army that's building over here. Now my navigators got destroyed. See, now I got that research done, so then I can go and I'm going to build a lot more crystal mines over here. I'm going to do na nano disassembler. If that thing goes over there, I have no choice. I have to attack it. Let's see. Am I going to get that research done? Yeah, okay. So now I'm going to give them a gift of 100 credits. See, and that increases our standing with them. So I can give them 100 metal. See, that increases our standing a lot with them. So now we're getting... So now once we get to a certain point, like requires 11 relationship. So once we get to like 11 in relationship area we can go and we can offer pacts it's gonna warp there that's that's I can't do anything about that what I can do though is I'm gonna send my fleet over there that way if it does get destroyed it can get out no 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 no
but also with your civics, what you can do is you can go to Empire, you can increase your resources. You increase your resources that you get from your miners and extractors. And you can build like orbital processing and stuff like that, and you'll see trade ships go back and forth to it. It's pretty cool. It's like I didn't build the things here, so let me just get rid of that there. I don't know why I didn't build that there. Why didn't it build? It must not have had credits. See, because now I got stuff here, but see, right here, I need to build more on that there. So that's capped out on what it can, what I can build there, and so. Go there, don't attack, do not attack. See what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to increase standing with uh with these guys. I think these are the are these the uh what are these guys? Jikara Navigator anti -sav Yeah, so these guys I'm trying to increase standing with. So I give them I can return the favor soon enough. See like they'll Increase standing C. Okay, so I can go and I'm going to attack the uh, the trade. I don't know where they are though, so that's a big problem. I might send out. I'm going to send out one of my ships to go in and scout out where they might be, because like I don't know where they are at this moment in time. It's minus 13, but still. So that, guy, that guy's gone now to go over there. So I'm going to conquer this area too. I'm going to take over. Now I can take over Volcanic Worlds, I think. If I remember correctly. Let me look at my research. Okay, yeah, I can. But alright, now I'm going to grab that, going to grab that. See, I don't have any credits right now. I'm going to give them some stuff. I'm going to give them some of my credits too. So what I want to do is I want to go and once I go over to manipulation, I want to get that first thing. So once I get enough money and stuff, I'll go and do that. But right now what I need to do is I'm going to build I need to upgrade that because on every planet there's only a certain number of people that can be on that planet so like the more you upgrade what can be on that planet the more stuff you get the more taxes you collect and stuff so it's a lot better to do that than uh, than like go and conquer multiple planets and spread yourself out well you can't spread yourself out but it's like better for you to go and upgrade your planets while you go even if that limits your ability to spread out and stuff like that See, watch, I'll have my long range guys go and attack him. Here are my long range guys. They have like laser cannons at the very top, see?
here we go. So I'm t I took a screenshot of that. See, I can turn the HUD. I think I can turn the HUD off. I can turn the HUD off and stuff like that and get some cinematic camera views and s stuff. It's really cool. But right now, I'm going to wait. Not enough antimatter. So you can sit around stars and collect a lot of antimatter, but you go a lot slower around stars. How's my guy doing that one over here? He's not doing too hot right now, but I'm going to go and try and go around this pirate base. Go see if there's anything else. See if I can go and do that. And as you sell stuff, the prices go down, but as you buy stuff, the prices go down over here, but the prices go up over here. Because the market needs more or needs less of certain things. It's my diplomatic relations. Yeah, I can't really do anything about that, but... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build that, which is a good thing. I can go over there and, let's say, I can go over there and diplomatic missions, etc. I can go and increase standing with them. So you can see a building in here, which is pretty cool, too. Let's see, when am I going to be able to... Okay. So I can get, like, a carrier or something like that. It's really cool. But, uh... Yeah, mostly this game's about conquer. It's a game about conquer and strategery. <laughs> and if you play with mul any play if you play on multiplayer and stuff like that, you can like stab your friends in the back or you can go and and build your titan without people knowing or well, you can build titans, but it'll say titan is under construction or something like that over to all the other players or some enemy has built their titan. See what other type of military stuff. So I can upgrade my missiles right now, and I can upgrade ship health. I'm gonna do that. And some things require two things. If you re research one and you research the other, then it'll increase your health and stuff like that for certain things. But yeah. So this game's pretty cool. I like it. Anyway, let's see what's here. So, I think I found the trade. Yeah, I did. I found the trade uh, coalition area. So, I'm going to go and I'm going to send. Let me see. Am I honoring the deal? Status mission destroy the ships of the target player, complete the mission. Okay. So, I can destroy. I'm going to destroy that one. Or I'm going to try to, at least. Probably not, because this guy's probably... Yeah, he's low on health. But I'll send a little strike force over there. Let's send you on a diplomatic mission. Here, over to here. Send you... Over here. How you doing, bud? No, not good. Definitely not good. He's doing a crap ton of damage, but that guy brought in reinforcements, so yeah, I'm gonna get him out of there. So let's get a little strike group going. Oh, well, I can't. I can't afford to. See, I need more metal now, so there. Built three more. But yeah. I might do, after this playthrough of this game, I might do a Star Wars playthrough of it.
Sorry, bump my mic. I find it pretty cool that you can actually see the ship's building, and then you can go and have multiple different strategies. Like, say, an enemy has like an outpost or something that you want you want to take from them, or like to have a uh, what is it? Or they have a Titan. I once threw an entire fleet at a Titan, a fully upgraded fleet at a Titan, and I didn't win. That's how sometimes this game works. So I might head out over here, or over here. There we go. I want to see where they are, so I can send a diplomatic ship. So that one's a good planet to colonize. Let's send those two after this guy. That way we can at least get some of the, uh, he's leaking plasma there, but we can at least get some of the, uh, some of the reward. There we go. He's destroyed. So I needed to destroy four ships. So I destroyed one. So I'm going to have him go over there. This is going to be my strike force. I'm going to send them over there. But I'm going to go and not send my, I'm gonna send my fleet maybe over here. Yeah. Oh, so I might actually be able to destroy their stuff now. Get that ship right there, that way we can go in and destroy the total number. So I got, what was it, did I get one? No, I still need four. My major capital ship has shown up. Yeah, I lost a ship, it looks like. Two, two more ships.
one ship left. Here we go. I basically am destroying their entire fleet right now. Here we go. to increase their standing with me. So now we're joined hands in that. Did I get to... No, I didn't. So I'm going to give that guy, I'm gonna put that guy over here, maybe. I'm trying to find their planet so I can go and get some, uh, get a good upgrade or something from it. So I'm gonna go and, uh, get that planet. But, yeah. I think that'll do it for this episode of Sins of Solar Empire. If you like this uh, new series that I'm trying to start up on my channel, uh, please leave a like. If you don't like it, leave a dislike. But either way, you should subscribe and hit that notifications button just in case you want to watch some more of my videos and know when I'm uploading. Um, anyway, uh, I will see you guys in the next video.